See, so I think this symbol is like the Illuminati. It's a secret Nazi And you see, symbol. instead of instead of W L, it's really J N for National Treasure. Jane Hold the Norton. bottle in the eastern moonlight. And Jane Norton was the name of the sixth dead. Oh. What, are they, what are they doing? <laughs> Welcome back to another Three Bourboniers. We are reviewing Weller Special Reserve, and this is a yet another historic day from the Bourboniers. It Our is. first Weller product. Yes. Reviewed. Reviewed. Yeah. Not yeah. Right. And for you and I, our first, first Weller product that we've tried. actually ever tried. Ever. So, congratulations. You get to watch us try our first Weller. We're popping our Weller cherry. Are. Um, Ethan's tried quite a few of them. Uh, this is our first one, so we're pretty excited about it. At least we're starting with the bottom one. We're, we're not starting, starting with, with the like the full proof. We'll work our way up. We yeah. got a couple of those expensive ones, and one of them might be in a video coming soon. Uh, we're too scared to open them. We're too, yeah, we're too scared to open them. We're just being little. Yeah, it's time. It's swear. time to grow some hair on our uh, gonads and, <laughs> and pop some of these open. Pop some of them open. This uh, is a twist off, for God's sake. This could be a vodka for right. all. It's a twisty top. It's not. Uh, Weller Special Reserve. We're looking at forty-five percent alcohol, ninety proof. Okay. Starting at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and we'll get a crack. No cork pop here this time. Well, you know what time it is. Well, he does that. We're gonna ask you and beg you on our knees to subscribe to our channel. We are new. Budding channel. Or a budding channel, as Taylor would say. And uh, yeah, turn on the dingly dinger, as Mitch would say. And uh, you can check out what we're doing weekly. So, we at got Three Bourbon Years on Instagram. Yeah. Instagram, Facebook, we're everywhere. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, Mitch loves comments, so leave a comment. I don't care if you hate me, you love me. I want to hear what you have to say. <laughs> Mitch wants the hate. He's I, love the, I want the hate. Send some hey, If we like, have haters, we're doing pretty yeah, well, yeah, probably, yeah. right? So, so do we know anything about this really? I mean, like they don't disclose anything about the mash bill, but we know that it's, it's in the heavy. same line as all the Wellers, all the Pappies, Pappies, which is what makes it so impossible to find. They'll come around here every once in a while. How much did you pay for this bottle? This one was 40, 45, 50, yeah, something so like that. Yeah. Just over retail, uh, really reasonable. Yeah, I mean, a say. great find for our neck of the woods. Absolutely you know, great find. price. I'm actually surprised we've seen some of the other ones before this one. Like we got, we got some 12s <laughs> and we got what some full proofs, and then this is the first one we saw. <laughs> the hell are you doing? We've had a couple before we started shooting today. <laughs> They're on bourbon, right? Honestly. So, Malfunctions go ahead. Get so in your eye. Hello. I get bourbon in my eye every single episode we do at some point, and I'm sitting over here rubbing it. Great nose. The nose is good. Oh. There's no burn. I mean, I can. Okay, I'm not just saying this, but every Buffalo Trace knows. Great. Yeah, I could. Yep. I could bathe in, wear it as cologne. Yeah. You know, air fresher in my car. It's beautiful. It is a beautiful nose. It's, it's never cool. too astringent or, no. you know, really, you know, burns the nostrils. It's always just a clean. I'm actually surprised how fruity this is coming off on the nose. I, I expected very. I expected more sweetie, caramely vanilla, and I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of that grapey, uh, light citrusy, light the grapey, fruit tannin, almost like a pear. I'm getting like a candied watermelon. Oh, okay. Think about like a, oh, like a actually, candy, Jolly uh, Rancher. Uh, yeah, like a Sour Jolly Rancher kids. watermelon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sour, Sour Patch Kids watermelon. I could um, definitely get on exactly that. That is exactly what that is. Yeah, like if you were to crack open a bag of Sour Patch Kids yeah. and put your nose in it. Yep. Just a kind of a, a little bit of tartness, maybe? Like a little bit of yeah, a little sourness. No, that's. I think it's very mm. sweet. Very sweet. Um, it's it's actually kind of a lot darker than what I was gonna. Yeah. Than what I was expecting for a ninety proof. Yeah, like bold. I mean, yeah. Like bold. Yeah. Right? Now the the thing is, is it gonna follow through the palate? I don't know, man. I'm nervous for this one because you hear so much hype about this product. So and it's just like is that hay straw? I look at the legs. I can see the legs from twenty miles away on your Sorry, glass. Sorry, and you said you heard a lot about it. Did we cut you off? No, no, you're fine. I just this is. Uh, Bottle, you know, that there's so it's, much hype. It's a weather when you see that. Don't worry about there, the hype train. I mean, you kind of like, you kind of start sweating a little well, bit. And the, the bottle store, looks right? cool, too. I mean, those, it's like, it's got the little. One of those things. This might only be a $30 bottle, and a lot of people are hating on it online and stuff, but in the end of the day, she's you can't find it anymore. So, great. All right. All right. All right. Anyway. Let's do it. You can only know us for so long. Cheers, guys. Cheers. First Weller. There's definitely um, an oiliness that coats your tongue immediately up front. 
Like I had that very smooth, just kind of over the top. She's a weeder. The finish? Why the is finish, there nothing? The like, finish kinda... is very non-existent. Almost no finish at all. I got a lot of flavor up front, and it just like, boom! It's very watery. It immediately, I mean, it's really oily, like I can still feel stuff. Yeah. But what am I tasting here? Let well, me go back in. What I was going to say, uh, one of Mitch's colors, hay straw. I mean, that's a yeah, pretty light color. That's a lighter one. I'll, the legs, though, I'm, I'm looking at the legs, and they're they're not bad. But that oil is very upfront. Yeah. Coats your tongue, and then also you're like, when is it happening? And nothing happens. Yeah. Kind of after that. I mean, Wait, but I'm trying mean? to amplify this, right? I'm trying to amplify it in my mouth and go, okay, picture what this would be like. Higher proof, because this is 45. We're not really used to this low proof anymore. And I'm getting those sweet tastes. A little oaky. Yeah, like I'm getting sugar. the wood, I'm getting the sweet, I'm getting a little... Actually, I don't know how much fruit I'm actually getting. I'm getting I'm no like, fruit, yeah, no fruit. at all. I'm getting just a little bit of brown hmm. sugar. Kind of your brown classic. sugar. Very classic. Yeah. Um, not a long finish. Almost like a little bit of a bitter tanny hmm. finish. Um, a little bit. I definitely can sense the bitterness that you're yep. talking about. And boy, I mean, it's just an obvious weeder. Right? Yeah. Like it, that, that wheat just comes through just like a Maker's yeah. 101 product or, or yeah. a Maker's product. Honestly, it's like, it's the exact same. Now that he says that, Maker's 101, it's very similar. It's very yeah. Similar to to so you know, lower proof, obviously. The but, thing about yeah. this that I'm getting, this is like a really good drinker. Like this... If this was available on the shelf, I'd probably have one all the time because it's just so easy to drink. It's I'm right with you. It's got like the classic flavors, but it's got nothing that I reach for specifically. Yeah. I feel like, but I, I mean, I yeah. I like it, but I just I feel like we've had stuff that's definitely a lot better than this. I, I don't know. I, it's it's hard for me to judge because it's so weak. I'm just so. How much do you buy this for? Uh, like 45. 45 ish. 45. Yeah. Which, honestly, that's not bad. That's really not that bad. No. Know? If you um, said 50 and 55, I'm going to be like, <sighs> then you're, then you're starting to stretch it. Yeah. But, I mean, do you still buy it at 50 bucks because of it's a weller? Probably. I would say, yeah. Probably. I mean, like, because, like so how, well, how much is a, is a 101? Um, 30. Uh, oh, Maker's Mark. Maker's Mark 101 yeah. is like 30, 30 39, 30, I think. Yeah. Okay. So $10 more. I wouldn't say that this is the liquid is worth any more than that. Like, I think that the liquid is worth the exact same amount as like a Maker's 101 yeah. or like a Maker's lower product. Um, but just because it's impossible to find, like, I would probably go ahead and spend a little bit more on it. I mean, that's possible. Uh, I think I wouldn't feel bad about it. So that's what I'm saying. isn't this really available like down south though? Aren't these actually like on the shelf, or it do people be. pay a lot for these? Because I feel like. But I see a lot of people mine. being like, these are pretty common. Yeah. At um, least compared to the like other ones. $80 for, on secondary? I mean, people are trying to use them as trade bait all the time. I think the people are getting stuff. like confused, like, oh, it's a Weller. Mm -hmm. And they buy it because it's a fancy looking bottle and it's Weller and they put it on their shelf so they can tell people I got a Weller. Yeah. But the really, tannin. all the money is in the other ones. Yeah. So, should we get into yeah, it? Yeah, let's get into it. Oh, of course I do. There it is. So who wants to go first? Because I have a lot of mixed feelings right now. I can go first if you want. Yeah, why don't you? Yeah. Um, I'm I'm actually going to be a buy on this bottle, mm -hmm. and only because, uh, it, it really only at the price that Mitch paid for it. Because if you're going to find one for forty five dollars, I really don't think that that's that bad of a deal. No, I think it's an easy drinker. It's a really easy sipper. I also think it might be good in a cocktail. I agree. I really actually, don't know, but I'm like, leaning towards you might go in a cocktail. You might feel bad How do you about put it. This in a I know that's the problem because ah. there's a lot of stuff that you could just go and buy on the shelf. Yeah, yeah. It's cheap. That you could throw in a cocktail. You could get not feel bad Baker's Park 101. Uh, yeah. But by by no means is it is it a bad sipper. I think that no. you could actually just sip this in a Glencairn and you could maybe put it on a put it on a cube if you wanted to, and you'd be happy with it. Don't, in my opinion, don't spend a lot of money on this bottle. Don't no. be spending eighty dollars. Don't be spending sixty dollars. No. I would say between if it's retail thirty five dollars to forty five dollars, maybe fifty on the high end, maybe fifty. Just maybe if I've it's never, your first weller. Yes, if it's your first one, like I've never had one 50, before, 50, so I might spend fifty bucks on it. But if you've had them before and, and you have a bottle in, in stock, I would say pass at fifty dollars. Anything below, go ahead and pick it up because of the name. Go oh, next. Yeah, sure, I could go. I'm gonna go with buy it just because I think it is a good intro to Weller. Mainly, the whole reason is, this is one you can get your hands on. You're not gonna 
break your bank account trying to get it. I think even online, like you said, what, like 80? I wouldn't pay that, but if you're desperately like, I need to try Weller, I need to taste what all the hype is about, you could do it, try this, and if you're like, meh, okay, I kind of get what Weller's about, then slowly shop it, you know? Or if you're like, God, this is the best whiskey on planet Earth, well, now you know. Now you can go spend the money on the more expensive bottles. I, I think it's just a good a good way to try Weller. So. Yes, so I'm coming at this from a whole different angle. Ooh, okay. That's good. Let's hear it. I'm gonna say bye. Okay. Well, right. but I'm well, we saying got three buys. Buy only because of the name brand on it. Oh God, no! You don't like the flavor <laughs> at all? I think it was pleasant. Okay. But I don't think this booze is worth forty-five dollars personally. I think this That's is more fair. of a thirty-two, I mean, like very intro level, but like better than you know some startup distillery that just popped up. I think you get your hands on this as a buy. Sell it secondary market, take that <laughs> cash, and go buy a bunch of other stuff with it. I, oh no! I'm totally okay that's what you I guys think. do that. That's um, totally yeah, fine. It, Use it as trade bait if it, you want for something bigger. You know, throw it in with an Eagle Rare or something and get yourself yep. a, a, a Antique 107 or yes. something like that. I mean, I've never had it, but yep. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm with you there. So trade bait, cash, yeah, yeah. trade up, you get the used Honda Civic and, now, and buy the, the you know, 2016 buy the upgrade. Buy the Honda Pilot. Honda Pilot. <laughs> oh my God. You know, at, now that you say that though, I'm thinking this is, it reminds me a lot of like a Buffalo Trace. That's where I'm at. This is a weeder, it's yes. a weeder Buffalo Trace. Well, that's what it is. That's, on, what, that's what it is. It's literally but what add it is. on to I think, $15? Yeah. I think the name is what drives it at 45 so Yeah, of course. That's my thoughts. That's Everyone knows take. about Buffalo Trace. Everyone knows about Eagle Rare. So yeah, this is the Buffalo Trace of, of Weller. Weller. Weeder. Which obviously it's still from the same company and we get that, but just saying from the perspective. Yeah. yeah. I agree with that. Well, I think that wraps wraps it up. Yeah, right? there's not, not much more to say about. Yeah, this. I mean it's pretty stuff, pretty so. straightforward. Yeah, go ahead. All right, well, uh, <laughs> like our video, comment, subscribe, check us out. We got some really exciting content right around the horizon. We got some crazy hitters. We're gonna be popping open. Some Stay tuned stuff. on our Insta, and uh, yeah, you'll find out what everything. It is. You'll find out what the bottles are. We but actually got them here, but we're not going to show you. There's some potential hitters, absolutely. Uh, should I hit one? Should I pull one on camera so they can be like? <gasps> they should. Yeah, grab one. Yeah, quick. pull one. Which one? Pull we two. are dubbing this Big Hitter Month, so there's pull some really cool stuff. Yeah, just grab two. See, you know. Anything else? We got an Elmer, and we got the Wild, Wild Turkey. turkey. Master's that's just the two master's key. That's There's just actually two. some bigger bottles that we have. We got some crazy coming, stuff too. Just a little hint, a little preview of, of what's to come. So. so you can get excited. Well, yeah. thank you guys for watching our video, and we'll catch you later. Yeah, Cheers. Bourbon is out.